So how is everybody doing today? Shooter here, and we've got episode 4 of Search Routes for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Today's uh, gameplay is going to be on Lockdown. I chose this map for a couple reasons. Um, one, I really love this map. Uh, it's a good overall map. I, I, you can use just about any kind of setup you want with it. But one thing I'm going to point out later, and I'm going to stress it now, is that you have to have a lot of awareness on this map. You can't... Lots of the routes that I run are high-risk routes on this map because there's a lot of wide open spaces on this map where you can get killed from long range or, or whatnot. So you really have to know what you're doing. So without further ado, let's get to the weapon. Alright, so today we're going to be using the USAS again. Um, this time, actually I think it's the same as we used last time, but we've got kick proficiency grip. Um, MP9 attachment, I think that's what I think that's what the secondary is called, with the holographic, C4 concussion, marathon, assassin, dead silence, dead silence is a must of course, I prefer assassin over anything else because it makes me feel like a ghost, and um, blocking uh, the support package with UAV, uh, ballistic vest, and sentry gun, now, I mean not sentry gun, SAM turret, um, but one thing I want to say is uh, with the uh, with the f your first perk choice, I prefer marathon over anything just because it feels like I, go f I can go places faster with the shotgun, Best perk, really, honestly, in all general, because you, you have to get up in person with the enemies. So without that, let's get to the offensive map. All right, firstly, I want to say that um, I didn't make the map big again. I just, I just lo just looks kind of weird big, so we're going to keep it small. But we are on offense on this route. Now, the route to the very top where we go straight at B-Bomb from what I believe is, I think it's B-Bomb, but I'm pretty sure. Um, but where we go to that bomb, that's a very high-risk route. Used to run it before. To be honest, not much now. Alright, so I really don't prefer you running that route unless you're going to be fast about it. Secondly, I recommend you going into the building, you know, where the, where the lines are. I, I really don't know what bomb site that is. I want to say yeah, it's got to be A-bomb. So by A-bomb, you want to go through the building and through the breezeway all the way up into that building. Now, I really only recommend this route if you have good awareness because sometimes people go there. Sometimes people will meet you in the hallway. Sometimes people won't be. They'll be in the other building. And you've got to be able to communicate with your team. And you have to be aware of where the enemy is and if you can manage them, alright? So, so many times you run in there and you get shot at or you die because of where people are at or even if they're camping in the doorway waiting for you to come in. So make sure you not, uh, know what's up there. Secondly, I recommend you go from spawn straight and down the alleyway against the breezeway wall on the, on the ground. Go in, underneath it and into that little corridor area. I'm pretty sure I might run this route, but I know I, I got to run at least one of these routes. But through the corridor and out to B-Bomb. Um, make sure you watch your two corners when you go out and make sure you watch inside the tunnel. So without further ado, let's get to the some epic USAS gameplay. Alright, so we are using the USAS today. As I said, we're going to start off on offense first. Um, to be honest, I really recommend you using the extended mags. I really don't like the foregrip right now. We did some experiments with it to see what's up. But we are going to run the route that I did say last. Uh, we're going to follow the breezeway wall. Wait here. Sometimes you can throw a C4 there if you know people are there. But other than that, you really don't have to. You're going to run through here, and you're going to check your corners. Now... In all honesty, unless you know someone's there, you want to check that right corner always first. Because like I said, that guy there, that guy could have easily killed me. Um, usually that, that stairway is not as such as uh, such a hot haven for people, but I guess in this game it is. So, But uh, honestly, check the right side first and then go to the left. Uh, it's, just a, it's just something I really recommend you doing, simply because of the fact that it, usually there's someone on the right. All right, The breezeway, I mean, if you got someone going, down th going that through the archway or the first route I showed you, uh, you're gonna want to have someone. That person can tell you if anyone's on the is on the upper rail area. All right, he's your spotter basically. You know, he's your guinea pig. And um, this is one thing I really don't like about the USS on this map is you have to kind of stick to the corners of the buildings. Uh, you have to stay in the buildings. And but we do get the final kill cam right there with the USS. Um, in all honesty, pick a shotgun. I really don't want to say use a striker because the striker is the new be a shotgun. It is the best shotgun. Don't say it's not. Um, but Use a shotgun that you can uh, do well with, you know. Pick the attachments and the setups that work for you, either proficiencies or attachments. Uh, I prefer damage on the USAS, uh, range on the striker, damage on the KSG. Uh, it's all profession. Whether you want, whether or not you want to use a grip on the weapon over extended mags, it's all up to you. It's all how you feel like you can use the weapon. For a gun like this striker, I use a foregrip because you can get some pretty nice range. Uh, right here, we're going to go straight at them. That guy misses me. We use the box for cover. Um, since you have a t, uh, t an MP9, what you can do is go behind that little uh, that little sight line right here. We're probably going to hit it up eventually. Um, but you can hit up the sight line right down the floor there and uh, see down the corridor and wait. But I like to get up in it because you have a shotgun. You know, you want to get 
up and personal with the enemies, you know what I mean? You just want to, you want to be able to, uh, uh, just to, to know what's up. You want to be able to get in there and deal some damage. You know, the secondary, you really don't want to, the secondary you want to use for long range. That, in an instance with a shotgun, um, if you watch the S&D mob game, I really recommend you that Routes showed the perfect example of how you should manage your shotgun and your, and your uh, secondary. He pulled it out right when he needed to, to get the kills, and he showed, it was a very good example of uh, what you're supposed to do with a shotgun and a secondary and a uh, uh, bleh, yeah, uh, and uh, not an MP7. Um, what am I saying? MP7 and a submachine gun uh, secondary. He showed a perfect example and he showcased exactly how it's supposed to be used. You know, um, honestly, if you, in my opinion, the MP9 is the best secondary uh, you can have. It's a machine pistol because it's good at all ranges. And what you want to do is you want to be able to pull that out at long range to counter the long range threats and the shotgun for close range. You know what I mean? You have to be able to balance it out. But then again, use what secondary works for you. If you don't prefer that gun, then don't use it. Use a gun that you like and you know you can do good with. You know what I mean? Just like with the shotgun, you want to make sure that you're comfortable with it. You know, uh, I feel like a, a K I prefer a semi-automatic shotgun. You know, the KSG is good, but you got to be able to get that one that first hit off. You know, you got to get that one shot, one kill deal with it. Otherwise, you're you're screwed, right? Um. But, uh, right, I'm not sure. Usually I say switch up the route, so I really am curious to see what route we run here, whether or not we go back to... Alright, right here we go back to first run. Ah, sometimes you can go here. I really don't recommend you going here unless you know someone's going to come around this corner, because I did it before. Uh, just because of the essence of that, you ha you can have snipers or guys with those rifles sitting on that upstairs, uh, walk walk bleh, walkway right there. It's just a very risky move, especially with a shotgun. Right here I didn't check my corner. I'm pretty sure a claymore exploded, but it didn't kill me, so it's no big deal, really. Um... But we are going to go around. See, th this is one of the things I really like about getting up in the enemy spawn quickly and rushing over here. You can sometimes you can evade the enemies and they won't even know you're behind them. Uh, you know you got to use your, your your headset to an advantage. I'm not sure if I heard that guy. The volume is very low right now on my computer. So, but we did see this guy going here. Um, obviously, I didn't call it out because I don't think I was playing with a party. I mean, I was playing with a party, but I think my party died. So I really didn't call out the guy and tell him he was going into spawn building. But it's honestly, uh, you, I recommend you use calls. I mean, like I said, in, in public matches, I really don't try that hard or try to, like, you know, pwn people that match. I just go for fun. That's why I use shotguns and submachine guns and all that stuff a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's more for fun and last. But right here, biggest mistake ever. All right, so we, we see the guy here as we're planning it. We decide not to plan it. We don't plot on his episode. We do flash him, though, um, because I think we do. We throw the C4. It gets by the crate, but it doesn't kill him. Um... Ah, that just hurts to see that, but that's the end of uh, offense. So I hope I'll see everyone on the defensive map. And uh, yeah, sadly I think there's only one or two rounds on defense. But defense with the shotgun, you really want to stick inside the buildings. So right here we've got the first round. I'm, we're gonna call it a bomb, but you just go straight from the spawn down the stairs, right up into the enemy building, right through the doorway. Check your left. Check the stairs. Um, now one thing that you want to learn, if you, I didn't show this round here because I really didn't run this round up until now. Um, but the first time I really got countered there and I got moshed on, I th I just I I noticed that you could run just past that doorway and go up the stairs right there and get right on top of them. Simple. All right. Secondly, you want to go through the hallway again. We know that. Be on your toes. Look for enemies going down the hallway. Pull out the MP9 if you have to and, and do the little um, sight line. I mean, do what you have to do. Or you could, if you have a submachine gun, a sorry full, just go B bomb. Sit behind the the crates or the bomb and keep your eye on the archway and the window above. Without that, let's get to some uh, defensive gameplay here. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to get back into this. And we are, in fact, on the defensive end of the game. It is halftime. We are switching sides. We do know what is up. And um, I'm assuming we're going we're gonna to pull out our, the route I showed first right here. Here we go. We're going to go right down the stairs, as we said. Run past JK. This is B-Bomb. I'm seeing it right now, I think. But that is B-Bomb. We're going to go right in the building. We're going to check our left. We're going to see three or four people. We're going to get them both and get the double kill. We're going to run up the stairs where we think someone is, but in fact, there is nobody. Going to get the pred kill over there. And right now, always watch those those windows right there. It's a very big hot spot. Someone will usually go up there either to cover the A-bomb over here. It just, uh, it's just a hot spot. You know what I mean? I can't express enough that you need to be able to have someone with their eyes there because not only are you uh, vulnerable in the hallway, but you're vulnerable when you go A-bomb, um, and you're just vulnerable out in the open. It's a very good spot, you know what I'm saying? So, eh, look, I'm searching for the last guy. I'm assuming there's one guy left, but we're searching. You know, we're doing what we, what we got to do. We're searching. We're doing what we do best. Sticking to the corners, the shadows. 
But uh, I guess, God, isn't did this guy get the kill again? I'm pretty sure the same exact person got the kill cam with the sniper rifle earlier. But we are doing a little creeper creep on him. Ooh, right in the ass. I'm pretty sure the bullet hit the floor, but um, I, I guess it hit him too, so there's no big deal there. Um, now, uh, I'm probably not going to run the same route this time. I'm just saying, I'm not 100% sure. You know, I don't really watch these gameplays beforehand, but always call out your ballistic vests. We've said this before. Get your ballistic vests when you have them. Um, like I said, the only time I really think the ballistic vests really actually are effective to, for the entire team is when you're playing with a party, because normal people don't uh, pick them up. Right here, this isn't really a route I prefer, but with the ballistic vest, you can take more chances with the shotgun. There's really no harm being done, taking more uh, risks when you got the shotgun and the ballistic vest. He gets claim ward. We check our corners. No one's in on the bottom floor. We go up top. Uh, those two guys got this building secure. Watch this archer right here. You can look at spawn there. And normally you will see a guy. Look, everyone taking my kills this round. But sometimes there'll be a person up there when you're rushing around on defense, even on offense. So you really need to be on your toes and uh, be aware of what's going on. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that's T-Bone and getting the right shield kill. Not 100% sure. But we'll say it is. Um, just kidding. It's not T-Bone. I think it's Corey. Corey's a fanboy. He follows people around. He's a leader, not a follower. I mean a follower, not a leader. Just kidding. He's a follower, not a leader, so make sure you yell at him for that. But that is it. We won 4-1. The, the round that we lost, we saw what happened. It could have been avoided. Bad judgment call on mine. Um, if we knew the guy was there, we, we sh most likely should have won to the other bomb site. But it is what it is. We still won, so it's really not like something you're going to shoot yourself in the foot over. Um, final score, 12-1, S&D on lockdown. And we do love the USAS 12. Lately, I've been having some troubles with that gun, and... uh. I haven't really found the fun and the energy in using it anymore. You know, I'm kind of the striker. Got the KSG going right now. I haven't been able to get, get gameplays with that, but... Uh, there's, there's the whole shotgun thing. I feel like people are trying a little bit harder lately. Maybe it's because I'm not playing as much, you know, with sports and everything. I really don't play during the week. Um, it's Friday right now, so I'm going to actually hop on after I do this video and play for a little bit. I just haven't played that much, so maybe it's just my skills kind of going down, but... Um, that's, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the th uh, fourth episode of Surge Routes. Hope everyone's ready for next week. And please, guys, let me know what map you want me to see. If I have a gameplay of the map and it's good, I will make that my analysis, all right? I can't stress enough the feedback and everything that, that, I, that I need. I know I know everyone can comment on these videos. It's just that you're afraid to comment and actually say, no one's going to judge you, okay? You shouldn't care what people say about you. It's not their life, all right? If they're judging you, then obviously they have some problems, with it, whether it's mentally or physically. They obviously have problems if they're making fun of you. So, may that is it be. We're not going to talk about that right now and talk about society's problems. But hope everyone enjoyed this video. Hope everyone has a great day and a great weekend. And I'll talk to everyone again on Monday. See you guys later, and thanks for watching.